welcome back to my channel it's your girl farhad and i have the website called farhad yummy so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make lasagna at home but before we get started i just want to remind you that the recipe is already on my website so please feel free to click the link down in the description box and that link is gonna take you straight where the recipe is and also i'd like to apologize that this video today is a little bit longer than usual is because of the whole process of making lasagna so yeah it's nothing to do with me <laughs> anyway so today you need things like a dish that can go in the oven you also need things like ginger and garlic they're all mixed coriander powder mixed herbs chili powder garam masala powder salt tomato puree fresh chilies if you like it hot belly peppers fresh tomatoes mixed vegetables minced chicken or you can use beef whatever you like you also need uh cheese you can use one type of cheese or you can mix whatever cheese you have or you like you will also need lasagna sheets you can get them in your local supermarkets like asda's sainsbury's tesco's if you can find them maybe just check around in your local areas maybe you may find somewhere where they sell food especially like italian shops if you can't find them i think just use normal pasta i believe it's gonna work the same way so yeah now we are going to start making lasagna curry lasagna white cream here you need salt milk butter and flour <laughs> Thank you. 
put everything together. guys so i thought i should say something before i wrap up my video okay once your lasagna is well baked make sure you cover it with a foil paper like at least 10 minutes before you serve it that way you're gonna make your lasagna more soft lasagna is gonna absorb all the moisture in the whole top is gonna be nice and soft as you can see but if you haven't done that that means your top lasagna is gonna be very very hard so you're not gonna enjoy it tip number two when you're cooking your white cream please make sure you don't have lumps left in it otherwise when you'll be eating your lasagna they're not gonna taste nice and last tip is when you're dipping lasagna sheets make sure you do it one by one don't put too many at the same time otherwise they'll stick together and you won't be able to arrange them nicely in your cooking dish thanks for watching guys i hope you're gonna go ahead and try this recipe if you want to see full detailed recipe then please click the link down in the description box that link's gonna take you straight to my website where you'll be able to see everything if you don't want to miss any video from me then please subscribe to my channel if you want to catch up with me then please feel free to follow me on other social networks everywhere i'm using for yummy if you want to see more dishes then please feel free to visit my website is www.farhayyami.com if you have any question please don't forget to write down in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible and please don't forget to share this video on other social networks like facebook whatsapp twitter anywhere and thanks for watching guys i hope i'll see my next video thank you bye